I want public access television. I want my public access. We need public access, public access television in Colombia. There's not enough voice for the small man on TV. Thank you. I want public access television. <laughs> I want public access television! I want public access television. I want public access television. Right. I want public access access television. I believe free speech is a good thing. So public access is a channel where we can freely, you know, do things on. It can be for the community, and this is a channel that's for the public. So I feel like we need it. I think that it's important that everybody should have their own way of voicing themselves, and an excellent way to do that would be to have a public access channel. And the fact that Columbia doesn't have that, it's no good, you know. I think we need one of those in our home. I think we need public access here because uh, cable and television should not be a license to make money, and that's essentially what it's become. You know, films and locally produced shows, that would be absolutely fantastic. I want public access TV. I want public access television. I want public access television. I want public access television. I want it now. There we are, live from Studio B. Cat television. Hello. <laughs> You're going to be seeing a lot more of this in the future, and you can actually come down here and make your own programming. We can put it out live. This is a test of our uh, live uh, cable cast ability. And we hope that uh, you find interest in this type of thing and come down here and make your own programming. Come on in here. I don't think we're having any audio. Oh, that's great. So for all of you who can read lips, <laughs> oh, that'll be, let's see. Hi. Channel 85. Columbia Access Television provides channel time, training, and equipment for you to have your own show. Host. Play. Shoot, light, direct, edit. Cat gives top priority to local producers, and we already have a strong lineup of local shows. There's a show in all of us. Morning. Hi, Zach. Hi. I need to. My, my mom's an alien and my dad's a sheep. Show. Sure. Eat that attack. Show. 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 Etec. Hi. I got a question for you. Ah? Uh? How did you, you're an alien. Mm -hmm. How did you get here? How did you get to Earth? <gasps> ship! That's your spaceship? <laughs> how did you, uh, how did you fit in there? And how's it work? Ah! Are you hiding something? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh. Awesome. <laughs> but, uh, whoa. <laughs> That sounds really trippy. And this also sounds like a really bad idea. I think that's enough. No voice divine, the story of my laid. My life, no light for face is shown. When snatched from all effect delayed, we perished each alone. And I beneath the deeper sea have drowned in... 
You're the weirdest person I've ever met in my entire life. No voice divine, the story of Malade, my life, no light propitious shone. When snatched from all effect delayed, we perished each alone, and I beneath the deeper sea have drowned in You're the weirdest person I've ever met in my entire life. I imagine that's what a lot of them think, too. Yes. I know for a fact that's what a lot of you people think. <laughs> Hi, I'm Columbia Mayor Darwin Heinemann. You can see me live on my new show, Ask Darwin, on Columbia Access Television. To become a member and make your own TV show, visit www.columbiaaccess.tv. Um, I can't make Because I think we're all searching. There are some people that think that the media would be biased. Yes, the journalist they talk about to cut more biased. Oh, yeah, John Edwards. 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 Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that means they're rallying. That, that means, yeah, that means. Is that Carrie coming out? No, that's no, Edwards. 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 That means they're going to rally. They wouldn't send Edwards. So for the Ravens, here we go. Thank you. That means what? That means they're not going to concede, because Carrie would concede himself. So that yeah. means they're going to rally the troops. Get, get, Keep going. Here. That's Edward. Hey, Edwards. 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 If there's a great quote, let's get it. Right, I can, we can. Get ready. We can do a sentence right on the on the front page. Yeah, thank you. Hello, from the studios of the Reynolds Journalism Institute at the Missouri School of Journalism. Welcome to Global Journalist. I'm Byron Scott, your host for this week's discussion of world news events by professionals whose job it is to report the facts and analyze the consequences. The Columbia Regional Airport has seen steady growth since Delta Airlines began flight service to Memphis a couple of years ago. Last year's passenger numbers, about 35,000 emplanements as they're called, were the highest on record since 1996. But still that total is nowhere near the 62,000 passengers that flew in and out of the airport 25 years ago when Columbia was a much smaller city. The airport has been a particular topic of conversation lately. It's been widely reported that multiple companies decided recently not to locate business projects in Columbia because of insufficient air service connections. When I drive through the back roads of Missouri, I see a lot of vacant, abandoned farmhouses. Uh, wonderful old homes that contain a lot of wonderful memories for a lot of families for a lot of generations and now they're falling in on themselves because the family could no longer sustain itself on the land neighbors moved in big corporate neighbors that bought up a lot of land uh, corporate food production has taken over much more and more of the rural landscape and driven the family farmers off the land. This is John Zelensky. I'm doing a series called Let the Truth Be Told and there's a brand new discovery that's coming out everywhere and it puts the ability to create electricity in everyone's home. The claim is that a single cow urine could actually power 19 homes. Now, according to latest news reports, within six months, some of this technology could be out there, and lo and behold, BMW has a diesel uh, car in which there's a 24-liter tank of urine that goes with it. So maybe we have the answer to the millions upon millions of barrels of oil we've been using in this country, and it's as near as our own bathrooms. Pea power. 
And I did this in 1999, surviving Y2K the Amish way. Well, surprise, it didn't turn out to be as bad as anybody thought. But while I was researching seeds, and I had the idea that if things got really bad, you needed to have heirloom seeds put aside so that you could plant them. And what I discovered when I bought a big bag of soybean seeds is the warning on the back that once I had planted these seeds, everything was over. I couldn't take the resulting seeds or the resulting soybeans and plant them again or I was liable for criminal prosecution. How would you like it if uh, a manufacturer decided that you were misusing the TV you bought and went to the sheriff's department and say, I want to go and search his or her house to see if they're behaving properly to the TV. Well, this is Cargill, Monsanto, and the other seed company's idea. You buy those seeds from us, but if you dare use them again, you're a criminal and we can get the sheriff to come with us and a search warrant and we will check out your seeds and you will be liable to fines and prosecution. My God, what is this country coming to? Now, I'm making an offer to you. If you have the right kind of story, contact me and we'll see what we can do. I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. <laughs> this? Oh wait, this was probably me. Yet this is a combination of all of us. And this is what you never see. The few people who do recycle, people sorting your trash. Oh, and I know I did this. So I ask you, why do you leave it up to him? To sort out a mess that we've all created. Because of our carelessness, this is the world that we're leaving for everyone else if we don't take action now. In other news, the sun is still shifting closer to the earth. Let's go outside to our weather expert, Storm Girl Sarah to get the latest on this development. Sarah? I'm here, Linda, although I don't know for how long because it's really, really hot. Now, tell me, is anything being done to offset the heat? Well, patrons are encouraged to drink lots of H2O and mechanics are getting to the point where they can no longer handle the heat. So please put away all the electronics. What the hell is that? Oh my God. Filming. Seriously, people? Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna need some more powder over here. I just got word. The government is setting off a shuttle to try to slow down the velocity of the sun. Oh my. Who would be willing to take on such a deadly mission? Do they have any volunteers, Sarah? Well, Linda, I hear they're going through Bruce Willis's contract to see if he is in fact required to save the day in national disaster. But with all his man, I don't even know if we can find him. He's the only man attracted enough to save mankind. That he is, Sarah.
You see the day that the Lord has made. Hey! Daughters and sons of the living God, and we overcome. Yeah, we overcome, and we reign in Him. Higher, higher. Murder was occurring while Jesus, the God of all creation, was on earth, and murder occurred. Some say murder occurred. Murder occurred. And Jesus was here. Someone say Jesus was here. Jesus was here. Not Joshua. Not David. Some say Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> See, the enemy's bold. Yes, he is. Watch what Jesus says. I got a thought in my nose. I got a thought in my nose. Oh. 
Rosebud. 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 making all that damn noise. We had a report of some birds causing a ruckus. Well, what were they doing? Crapping and singing all over the place. Well, that's what birds do. Not in New Columbia. What? Haven't you heard our new motto? No. No birds, no bird flu. New Columbia sucks. Ass. Where did you get that name, sir? It's my given name. I strike fear into the hearts of anyone who is not a member of the Jewish community. I see. Did you meet that other guy? I meet lots of guys. Name, 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 Oh, hello, I didn't notice you there. I'm doing interviews for the puppet extravaganza today. Were you made today? I certainly was. Who was your maker? My maker was the maker, Sarah Neitzer. I'm here with Batman and Shevitz, and uh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name? My name is Peter. And Peter. Peter and uh, Batman and Shevitz. Can you tell me a little bit about yourselves? Well, we just recently got married. Married? That's awesome. When did you get married? Uh, I guess it was about, what, two? Yes, it was about three weeks ago. Three weeks ago? Well, congratulations. Now, you must know a lot about this town. Can you tell me a little bit about what you do? Well, we've been spending a lot of time down at Kinko's. We're trying to have a baby. Kinko's? Now, how does that help with the uh, production of babies? <clears throat> well, as you can tell, we are paper puppets. And we go down to Kinko's, I lay down f Hello there, viewers. Welcome to my new cable access show, Bone Man Rhapsody. My new underground hip hop show, here to expose and, and to promote other artists. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's do sports. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I'm Carl Edwards, and thank you for watching Cat TV. If you want a moment of silence, then take it on Super Bowl Sunday. Ask 
Cal managed to stay involved and remain seemingly happy and adjusted in this awful world where the efforts of caring people pale in comparison to those who have power. It's easy. First, don't let those who have power intimidate you. No matter how much power they have, they cannot prevent you from living your life, speaking your mind, thinking independently, relating with people in the world as you like. Hi, how y'all doing? My name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As most of you know, my birthday's coming up soon. And to be quite honest, my last few birthdays have been pretty shitty. People killing each other for TVs and toys and shit like that. Thank you, baby. So this year I want to do something different. This year for my birthday, I want everybody to drink some wine, smoke some weed, and have sex with each other. Enjoy your life. I mean, is that too much to ask? From the guy that died for everyone's sins? <laughs> Amen. Whoa, that's crazy. Here you go, baby. Mm. She doesn't got that. Get his nipples. I can't make a dime. I don't know why I came. I decide I'll go and find him and find out who's behind him. He's got everyone convinced that he's for real. Well, I figure we can work some kind of deal. He offers me a job, and I say fine. He says I'll get paid off on down the line. Well, I guess I'll string along. Don't see how too much could go wrong. As long as he pays my way, I guess I'll follow. Heading for Jerusalem tomorrow. Good evening, ladies. Can I interest you in a house appetizer? No. Can you give us a moment? Of course. I'm worried she'll ask us to take Trudy outside. We'll be fine. The Alfredo looks good. Is there chicken in it? Trudy loves chicken. I don't know. Yes, you love chicken, don't you? Who loves chicken? Who loves chicken? Mom. 
Don't what? You know I don't like it when you do that. Do what? The way you're talking to her. Trudy knows I love her. Don't you, Trudy? Yes, I do. I'm just gonna get a hamburger. It's your birthday. You should have something special. Order something else. <clears throat> um, can we have a couple more minutes, please? Sure. Repent what's past. Avoid what is to come. Salam alaikum. Hala whole kind of concept that Wes and I started with. It's, it's by musicians, for musicians, but also for music lovers, because they can come and not only enjoy the music, but then also feel more part of the scene. <laughs> 